What inspires me to come every day to work is that I really love to do science. The whole formulating a hypothesis, testing this hypothesis, failing miserably at this multiple times and having to find a way to come back into this really does motivate me. I think it is this failure or it keeps me motivated and coming up for more. It's a bit masochistic, but that's what it is. I am Isaac Garcia Murillas. I am a staff scientist at the Toby Robbins Breast Cancer Now Research Center at the Institute of Cancer Research in the lab of Professor Nick Turner. Uh, I'm inspired mostly by the applicability of, of the research, the fact that it's going to benefit patients. And I also inspired by the fact that we need to develop new tools and new approaches to overcome the technical difficulties that are associated with this type of research. I think patients will benefit most from my research, but I also like to think that the field will benefit from my research and that potentially clinicians will benefit from my research as well, as this will form part of the toolkit that we have um, to detect and monitor the disease. And uh, non-invasively, will definitely benefit these patients. The ability in a drop of blood or, or you know, in several meals of blood uh, will be very beneficial to them. Mutation tracking in circulating tumor DNA in early stage breast cancer is probably one of the most important pieces of research that has come out of the lab because it allows you to identify which women are going to relapse before they do so clinically with a very long and big time. It also presented the opportunity to use novel techniques like NGS and DDPCR to analyze and monitor uh, the cDNA in clinical samples. Uh, the fact that most clinical trials nowadays uh, collect biofluids for circulating tumor DNA analysis is really exciting. Uh, and the fact that we are starting to run interventional trials based on cDNA analysis, it is really, really cool. Most of the research that has come out of the lab has been very novel and pioneering in the circulating tumor DNA field, especially our early work on HER2 amplification in plasma, as well as all the work that we have conducted in detection of ESA1 mutations in cTDNA in ear positive breast cancer patients. This has helped to open a new field in ear plus cancer. The use of circulating tumor DNA in the early setting and the ability to predict which patients are going to relapse before they do clinically is something that is super exciting. Uh, when we were working on this all the way back in 2015, it was great to be at the forefront. It was great to be part of a group of pioneers pushing the boundaries. My advice will be to every researcher is just persevere. Science is about coping with failure and the ability to cope with that failure. Uh, success is very short-lived. Once you get to do something and you do that something and it works, you go back to square one and try to develop uh, new approaches to new problems. So my advice will be patience and perseverance and always think that it's going to work, otherwise don't do it. <laughs>